we need to. And hopefully we by then Garrett'll grow a pair. We'll see. And have, and yeah. have a and have a little fun with the boys. Uh, my days are getting shot at are over with boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. but, but where's 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 Tim? Where's Tim when you need him with the fucking flag? God damn it. That's tough. I, I will say it's tough to argue with that. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> that's that feels that feels <laughs> going on everybody welcome back toon talk episode 46 uh no tim tonight but i think krejci is the only number 46 i could think of i don't know if the yeah, wings have any 46 46, 46 i don't know i don't think so i can't think of anybody all right so david krejci it is um just heads up to everybody who's listening this is going to be probably no, the most scuffed like episode it, we've ever done <laughs> uh no tim tonight he is at the firebirds game we had to move some things around due to scheduling so we're recording on wednesday when we normally record on tuesday yada 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 Ian has hopped yeah. in, thankfully, to help out, but he had uh, a simulator out. golf night uh, on on Wednesday nights, so he'll be he'll be chirping and uh, chiming in from the simulator golf uh, in Linden. Uh, I am ninety nine percent sure I'm losing my voice, so I sound like shit. And yeah, so no, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, it'll be right. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Uh, boys, how are we feeling after this weekend? Tough uh, O2 on Sunday, uh, highest of highs, the lowest of lows, ends a couple win streaks. How are we feeling, Ty? Terrible. Uh, at least you got to get a couple wins in the barn. We'll call, come after that later. Uh, uh, Goonie Tunes White, however, uh, did not step up to the bell. So 0-3 on the weekend, uh, not a good feeling. There's oh, definitely going to be even... some uh, – yeah, I didn't even put that together, Ty. That's rough. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you didn't put that together. I know. I honestly didn't. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> You're such a shithead. I know you thought of that. <laughs> uh, no, it's uh, there's that good tunes white. It's definitely got to do some soul searching, but I look forward to a rebound this weekend. Yeah, we got a couple tough matches this out. weekend. That's a great out. Yeah. Oh, that's a fantastic out. <laughs> fantastic out. Well we're done, Ian's teammate. We're, 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 def- <laughs> we're definitely going to be just talking about the golf the whole time. For those of you on Spotify, make sure we, to jump over to YouTube. Oh, yeah, this is, yeah this, is, golf. this is definitely a YouTube. This is definitely a YouTube watched out of Spotify wa- or Spotify yeah. listen. <laughs> that's for damn sure. Um, I mean, yeah, it's going to be a t- couple, cu- couple, couple tough tests. Holy shit, that was way too hard for me to say. This weekend, so we're... Uh, Got it. You need to have short, oh, yeah. short memories and uh, mm. see what we can do. We'll pull up. This is a uh, oh, I don't want to be... recap of the week. A couple, two, three, lo- two, three losses. I will say this is probably going to be pretty quick because there wasn't, there's not a lot to talk about here. We didn't really play well in either game. We were a little short benched in the B2 game. We had 10 guys and then Craig uh, ran into the boards and hurt his shoulder maybe a little little headache action so we were down to nine for like most of the game i think that happened like halfway through the first period yeah um but the i mean the b1 game nobody played well to be honest no uh no nobody did it was like we started slow uh get spotted them two goals within like within the first like five minutes or something and then we were just chasing yeah. the whole game so that's kind of unfortunately been our mo for some of the B2 games. It seems like when we score first and pop a couple in quick, we just kind of start feeling it and rolling. But it feels like more often than not, we just start slow, get behind, and then have to end up chasing the whole game. So Yeah. No, I was just kind of ugly all the way around. I, I will say, uh, Connor, welcome to the point race in B1, too. Yes, I just tied Bobby <laughs> for second place on B1. But, uh, no, it's uh, other, outside of that, that's probably our one highlight. The rest of it's just – 
Ugh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing really to say. Yeah, I would say, yeah, this is kind of one of those games where it's just like, yeah, we scored two goals. They were both kind of late. The game wasn't all that interesting. We really didn't have a lot of, like, good chances. No. Um, But I don't know. Uh, the only thing I wanted to mention, and we don't have to necessarily go into super big details here. Do you guys want to talk about what happened after the game in the locker room a little bit? I just bring bring oh. it up. <laughs> I, well, I just bring it up not because I don't want to. I don't. This is a show about the, the beer league teams, and I think what happened in our locker room probably happens in a lot of beer league locker rooms, and I'm sure happens in yeah. definitely some beer league locker rooms at Crystal. So I mean, we don't have to give oh, like I names or go into specific. But we had two guys that were getting into a little bit after the game. Clearly frustrated that we lost, which is understandable. Uh, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why is it echoing? Say who's not saying. Okay, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank I'm you, curious. Reed. I was Thank invested you. in the story. Thank you, Thank you. You're good. You're good. Uh, so I'll just say this. And I, I'm as competitive as anybody that probably is on either team. I hate, it's like, the, I love bringing up the Shorzy quote because I've never, never felt it like or never heard it uh like summed up so perfectly i hate losing so much more than i love winning and this is probably going to sound a little bit hypocritical coming from me because i obviously have a history of yelling at guys and getting frustrated i feel like i've got forward kind of though your defense kind of you've turned a new leaf thank you thank you and i also i also (laughs) feel like i have been better this year than i was i mean the first year we played 100 the first year we played i was an absolute nightmare and obviously you know that was five years ago i'm five years older (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'll just say, I'll just say this. And I honestly, I attribute like the growth to the older guys on the team, Garrett and Eric and Tim and all those guys talking to me and let me know that, Hey, like, listen, man, we're just here to play hockey. We're here to, and not, not even really that some of the nights we're just here to get out of the house and drink and have a good time with the boys. Yep. So I understand the frustration. I understand wanting to win. I get it. But at the end of the day, it, that, that frustration can't ever get to a point where you're not making it fun for everybody else that's there to just have a good time. Yeah, the so fact just, that I had to raise my voice as team rep or dad figure, however you want to call it, yeah, voice exactly. is not, is not a, that's not cool. Let's not let that happen again. I don't enjoy it. It never right. get that serious. Ever. Yeah, it never should. And like I said, it that's the first time it's happened all year. I don't suspect it'll happen again. I think both the guys that were involved kind of realized that, hey, that's pro- that probably wasn't the right thing to do. And especially yeah. like yelling at, I mean, getting in an argument with a teammate about, just like stupid shit is just, I mean, it's just not worth it. We all, we're all there. We're all buddies. We're all friends. Exactly. Uh, we're just there to have a good time, work out for, you know, an hour and then drink way too much beer. That's just exactly. what it is. Wipe the water out clean. Back yeah. to status quo. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I, I just wanted to bring it up because I figured that was probably something that's happened on a lot of other beer league teams. You know, guys get, guys are competitive. Guys want to win or hate or don't want to lose how we want to look at it. Yeah. But at the end of the day that, uh, that want to win can't can't bubble over and like I said affect the uh the the fun that the rest of the guys are trying to have. So uh anything else from the B one game, Ty or Ian that you guys can think of? Nothing here. I know Misfits dropped a close one last week too. So it looks yeah, like it'll, it'll be a rebound for both of us. So be interesting to see tune in Sunday. Yeah, it'll be a good one. Nah, I think nine forty five Sunday against yep, Misfits. Nine forty five. Got, got the late slot again. So Hopefully we get a nice showing. I mean, we had 11 guys this week, which was nice. <laughs> I can't, I just can't, I just can't get over Ian. Just like taking at shots. At the simulator? Yeah, at the simulator, taking shots. Just like. What's so funny? How'd the last shot go? We, we couldn't see. Here's Tiny Box right now. Oh, Danny just put one right next to the hole. It was beautiful. Oh, Danny, gorgeous. Danny had to beautiful. put it in. Little, shot. L- little gimme, little gimme putt. Yeah, within ten feet, you got the little shooter. Beautiful, I love it. I love it. I can hear him in the background. I know. Yeah, I got to keep myself muted. I feel like it's coming in from everywhere. You're good. You're good. Don't worry about it. You're good. Uh, all right. B two, kind of, kind of, kind of like we said, a little short-handed, a little rough. Uh, and I mean, nothing against the guys that were there. Cause obviously really appreciate them showing up. But I think when Craig got hurt and Poon Patty jumped up to forward, we had to kind of like shuffle the lines around a little bit. And I don't know why I didn't realize it at first, but the first time I realized that we had a line of Garrett centering Tim and Poon Patty <laughs> love all three of those guys. I was like, this is going to be a long game. And I will say I Poon Patty new twig. An absolute, new twig, new an absolute nip 
I mean, and of course, in classic Poon Patty fashion, he has to he scores his first goal in like the 13th game of the year <laughs> and has to do the selly and then he's skating over to the bench and he's got like his hand all over his blade. And Tim goes, dude, what the fuck are you doing? He goes, Ah, oh, my blade's hot. I gotta yeah. cool it down. <laughs> I was like, Oh my god, this fucking guy. But I mean, I guess I guess make the most of the opportunity when you have the chance to. So good yeah, on too. good on him. <laughs> Poon Patty's new stick is amazing. Dude, I it's I mean I I don't know if he scored in the game he sub with uh he did. CNS did he? He did. He did. He had two he goals did. in two games. Played. Two goals in two games with the new Twiggy. That's after we left. He said there was one on the goal line. And he poked it in. Add a boy, add a boy. <laughs> I love Kenny that. Did. I love that shit. Um, trying to think anything else you 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 could think of from the B two game tie. No, we just kind of caught caught as soon as Craig went out playing three D, rolling our. Power line of uh, Tim Poon Patty and Garrett. I That's, mean, it, I mean, <laughs> speaks for itself at yeah. this point. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll just say this: we definitely look slow, uh, slower yeah. than we normally do. It's obviously a ten o'clock start, and when like three or four of our five best players were just sitting in the bar for four hours because our other yeah. <laughs> the, the B one game was at four or five forty five or whatever it was. That is recipe not a recipe. Greatness. I was gonna say that is not a recipe <laughs> for success. It was brutal. I will say my legs haven't felt like sandbags like that in a long time. That I, was rough. It wasn't honestly, it wasn't even my legs that were that bad. I got on the ice and my arms felt like spaghetti oh, really? noodles. I, I couldn't like, I was like trying to handle the puck and I was like, what the hell is going on? I feel like I have Tim's hands right now. <laughs> yeah. It took me like a period. It took me like a period to feel the puck again. It was, I was like, the fact that Tim could score when he feels like that is honestly more impressive than anything. I don't. For real. Crazy. Don't, don't, don't find a way. It's it's honestly just TNT. ridiculous. I mean, uh, sometimes you just got to bank it in off somebody and get them going or something. I I mean, we we'll, we'll talk about Tim's performance at the bar when we get there this week. But oh my god, that <laughs> just like fucking Christ. Uh so uh, I mean, I got the gong gauntlet. I'll uh, I'll just address it. I didn't think it was super deserved, but at the same time, I did take a couple tumbles. So that's fair. Up oh, here comes Garrett. We'll get his take on this game too. Uh. He who's tardy to the party. Mr. Garrett, welcome. Good morning, welcome, Garrett. sir. What? Garrett, Garrett, yeah. Ian is Ian oh, is joining not? Ian is joining us from his simulator golf league tonight. Uh oh, okay. I don't have much of a voice. So we're this is the this is the, the, the most scuffed podcast that we've ever done. Fair so enough. welcome. So welcome. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> we were just talking about how the uh how when I saw the power line of you, Tim, and Joe, I knew we might be in trouble for the Oh yeah, two, yeah, for we two were, and a half we periods. Were, I was thinking about <laughs> switching you over just so we had somebody who kind of had some hockey sense on that line. But at that point, I'm like, yeah, we're we're good. We're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Um, we were talking about how I got the gong gauntlet. That's where right, right where we were left off right before you got in. Right I didn't think so, it, I, your I didn't think it was super <laughs> deserved. I fell down like twice. I didn't see anyone else fall. So now we're just giving it at someone who falls. I mean, hey, you got to remember, it past. is Tavis that's giving it out. So yeah, no, I, I'm aware who gave it out. I'm not saying that uh, you put a target on your back for your uh, comments about his coaching ability last week, but there was a pretty big. Uh, I mean, bullseye I'm not right in the middle of that back. I'm not the one that gave him the gong gauntlet for his coaching performance last week. Let's you, just let's just that's remember. That's true, but you I, did give some harsh comments. I felt like they were deserved, and I'll tell you what he did I, a lot. I, he, I agree with you. I 100 percent agree with you. He did, I did not he, think that it was coming your way, but. Listen, you gotta wear them when you 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 gotta wear them sometimes. I had no problem getting the gauntlet. Uh, like I said, I can take it as well as dish it. Uh, so we'll throw it over to an interview with all three of the Uckleys. Uh, <laughs> and then when we get back, we we'll get Garrett's thoughts on the game. Take it away, boys. All right, Buckley here with a uh, Tune Talk host Connor Fredline and the uh, Goonie Gauntlet. Connor, uh, how do you feel about slipping and sliding all over the place? Yeah, ice was rough tonight. Last game of the night, a lot of guys played on it before us. A couple ruts, but yeah, it was a rough one. Yep. Playing 3D all game, a little exhausted, but no C excuses. A couple passes that were uh, out in the middle uh, to nobody. Uh, what, what's going through your head there in the in your zone when you're throwing the puck out in the front of the net? Uh, my, my center was going through the slot. I thought he was yelling, yup, yup, yup. Uh, but it's not. he might have had a dick in his mouth or something, because apparently yeah. he was saying nope or out or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> hey, well, so he was that, calling for the puck, and then I gave it to him, and there was a guy right there. With that new health insurance, you might want to get your uh, ears checked. 
Uh, oh, go ahead. All right, Funkley here. Um, Poon Patty sniping his first of the season. Um, new twig. Thoughts on Poon Patty's play? Yeah, it was, it was good to see. Uh, Poon Patty was buzzing out there. Didn't look like he played big games back to back, but he, uh, yeah, he popped one in when, when we needed one. Too bad we couldn't, uh, couldn't hold it up. Cuckley here now. How do you feel about that game in general with Greg getting hurt and everything else? Yeah, no, it was a rough one. Went from having uh, 10 guys out there to nine, playing 3D, running 3D for two periods almost. Yeah, it was it was rough. And back to Poon Patty's goal. Uh, so he put that right side. Do you think he could have snuck it in left side too or just right? No, nah, probably right where he wanted to put it. I have no no uh, no illusions that Poon Patty can put the puck wherever he wants this new twist. All right, but either uh, way, great. One, one quick question. Uh, do you think Poon Patty scores tonight as well? Post hockey. Ooh, nah, it's probably a little bit too late for that. 10 o'clock game time. When He's not going to get home until midnight or 1, 12 30. I don't think so. All right. Buckley's out. Okay, so that may be the least jokey interview that the Uckleys have ever done. I don't think they asked a single funny We're clearly question. Clearly excited about Poom Patty's goal. Yeah, very excited about Poom, which, I mean, <laughs> we, 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 we briefly touched on it, Garrett, but I mean, new twig, new twig for Poon Patty, two goals in two games. It's for hot. Him. It's hot. It's, yeah, something. <laughs> He's feeling himself. Yep. Uh, you have any other thoughts about the game, Garrett? No, nah, I mean, it got a little chippy. You know, it's it sucks not having 10 guys. I think that hurts. And, you know, especially when one of them's Craigie. Uh, but hopefully he's all right. I've heard Tim said he, he was just kind of sore, so that's a plus. So he might just – I don't think he will miss him too much. Uh, if he misses Scott's Barber, I don't think he'll be the difference maker. I don't think anybody will be the difference yeah, maker. Yeah, I don't again. think there's a single guy on the team that's going to be the difference uh, maker. So I would say, you know – if you want to take this week off, I think we have our break after this one. Yeah, we got a two week break after this week. We got the holiday break. Yeah, yeah I would say rest up. Yeah, definitely. Anybody that's feeling a little I bit show up and drink, but yeah, yeah, anybody that's feeling a little bit banged up, don't feel like you got to push yourself because we have like I know Ben's I'm, coming into town. He would he would probably be willing to skate if we needed guys. So we have we have bodies that we can throw yeah, if we need. Yeah. Uh, we got nine hundred checked in already, so I'm yeah, not too worried about. It. Yeah, yeah, we'll be all right. Based on Chris' comments at the bar, it sounds like he plans on playing. But hey, if if he feel, I mean. Like I obviously, if you feel if he feels good enough to play, I just wanted to, you know, we got two weeks off coming up. Don't feel you got to push yourself and and maybe yeah. hurt it worse than it hurt it worse than it already is, something like that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know guys definitely, especially when you 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 feel like you're missing out. I've definitely been there before. Yeah. Um, all right, boys, that was our recap. Like we said, not much to talk about. A couple pretty uneventful, uninspiring games. So we're looking to, uh, bounce back. The, maybe get a couple of W's heading into the holiday break. Uh, next up, we got some grades. And this one was interesting. So we did the goalies this week. Obviously two losses. Uh, but I think it's pretty telling. One of the goalies' performances was a little bit different than the other. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just as soon as you said that, I was like, well, I know how this is going to end up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sartor struggled a little bit. Uh, I mean, felt like he was, I mean, struggling to track the puck, fighting it maybe a little bit. I don't know. Definitely. I, I mean, definitely his worst game of the year, which is unfortunate because we graded him this week. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. I think I think if we'd graded him literally any other week, his lowest grade would have been like a B. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, just just unfortunate. You uh, know, you, it's pressure. You're either playing it or you're feeling it. So that's, that's right. Some guys, exactly. some guys can't handle the spotlight. Uh and then Lou, I thought Lou played pretty well. Uh I, I mean great. I don't I was trying to think like I don't think he had him like a bad play like i don't think he any of the goals was really his fault like no you know, none like, of the goals were play. really his fault i mean the first one that was just a fluky like he had the whole the guy just shot it right at him and it just like squeaked through i mean i don't know how you stop that eh, okay i guess but, yeah, stick up yeah that one maybe possibly but no i i was just yeah i mean i thought he i thought he played well obviously we didn't really we only scored two goals so at some point you gotta you gotta give him a little more a little more help yeah. um but no, I mean, I thought, I mean, B plus, C minus isn't great, but I'm looking at it. It might be the lowest, might be the lowest grade we've ever, we've ever given someone on average before. But listen, not, you know. That's what those <laughs> fireball shots yeah, before a game will do great, to you. You gotta yeah, yeah. Two, two, two fireball shots before the game, I don't, I feel like is not the recipe that, that, that you want. Mm. Yeah, especially, especially as like especially as a goalie when your whole thing is tracking the puck and reflexes and shit. You can kind of get away with it when you're skating. But I feel like as a goalie, you definitely gotta, definitely gotta be in the zone. He had me a little nervous when I walked in the locker room, and he was like, "Tyler, 
I looked at him like, what's up, buddy? And he goes, snap me back. We almost lost our Snapchat streak. And I heard Reader go, what's a Snapchat streak? And we had a, about a five-minute conversation about how Snapchat streaks work. So oh my that's, God. that's why I knew things were not going well for the B1 team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking to Brandon before the game is definitely, like, not the norm. I don't think I've ever seen him be super animated and talkative before the game and stand on. So he's out of his element. Yeah, definitely, definitely out of his bit. element. Definitely. Uh, all right, we got to pick a couple guys for next week. Who do you guys want to do? Oh, hold on. I already, I already, I, I, I know what we're doing. We're doing Foley and we're doing Grappin. Ooh, I like all it. Right, sounds good. Yeah. Boom. It's been decided. I think we have after next week. So starting with after holiday break, I think we have four guys on the B one team and five guys or six guys on the B two team, something like that. I think there's or, one. Okay, so do we want to do Johnny Appleseed because he told me he's coming? Oh, if Johnny's coming, well, no, do I, I was gonna ask it. I almost asked if we'd already done John, and then I realized there's no way we already done John. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All do right, we if do John, John, if well, John, well, well. yeah, if John is coming, <laughs> we'll we'll do John. Of course, it's. <laughs> Say, but John's also if like John. A 50, so 50 ball so when he says he's yeah. Coming. So just if we're planning on doing John, if yes. John does yep. not come, we'll do Grappin. Yep. Yep. Okay. Like it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. So fo- the two Johns, John Foley, John Hagen. Love it. There I love that. Love it. That's perfect. Uh, all right. What do we got next? Oh, uh, we got some excuses. This is, I mean, this is starting to, what do you got, Ian? Made the plot. That a boy. That a boy. <laughs> that a boy. Like, at this point, at this point, he is just chiming in and letting us know how we golfed, which I, hon- I honestly yeah. kind of love. Say, Ian, honestly- keep telling us how those shots keep going. Every time you take one, let us know how it goes. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, all right. That is way too many interruptions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll do it, but. All right. We have another full page of excuses for it feels like the sixth re- week in a row. Embry and Porter still on IR. Phil kind of on IR. Yeah. yeah. I think the rest of them just to be safe. So John and Eric. Back, so that's good. Okay. Tunes special. So rest that up, Philly. John and Eric, I know 10 o'clock game in Midland. That's well, probably that's probably Oh yeah, Eric was in Wisconsin. You're right. But even yeah, so, even even if he had been in Michigan. Either way, yeah, yeah, yeah he's fine. he's not making a 10 o'clock game in Midland. Tom, yeah. 10 o'clock game, way past his bedtime. Maybe. Yeah, I assume Mason probably had finals. You guys had finals this past yeah, week, right? This week's finals week at Kettering, so he's uh, de- Mason definitely gets a pass. However, the other Kettering guy on we'll, the screen, we'll, get, we'll, we'll talk we'll about get, that. We'll in get a to second. him last. Uh, Bice, Garrett, you know about Bice? I don't. Maybe it might. I might have just been too late for him. That's a possibility. Yeah, and then I know a funky work schedule. I don't know. And then I know Conti got into a little bit of a fender bender or something. Somebody ran into yeah. him and he t- like total almost totaled his car. So yeah, he, he got was... hit going sixty five. So somebody or somebody hit him going sixty five. Sorry. So he definitely gets a pass. Rest yeah, up. that's a uh, that's a hell of a weekend. That's yeah. yeah. That's. But this last guy, Jacob Lesnu, Garrett. Did you hear about this shit? Nope. Were you on the show a couple weeks ago when JB left a voicemail, Garrett? Yes, I believe so. When he was talking about how he was sitting on sitting in the frat house with Lesnu, and oh Lesnu, yeah, 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 Lesnu yeah, yeah, didn't yeah, want to go yeah. to the game, and he convinced him to go, <laughs> and we kind of we gave Lesnu a lot of shit. Well, guess what happened yep. this week, Garrett? We had oh, a wait, five... Connor, before you share. Oh, go ahead, okay. Garrett. I want you to take a guess. So he's at the frat house. So that okay. that's that's your hint, and they were doing some activity before the hockey game. I want you to guess what activity was taking place while we were playing hockey. At five forty-five. At five forty-five. 545. It's a little too early for Coke. <laughs> so, Kegger? No. It was movie time at the frat house. That's... Mr. Jacob Lesnu skipped our hockey. Okay, hold, 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 okay. What movie? Mm, I, don't, I don't remember what JB I, said. It, def- it, def- it definitely doesn't matter. It def- mm, it doesn't, no, it doesn't, matter. no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't matter. matter. There's a few movies name out a, there. Name a, movie, name a movie you would be okay with someone missing our hockey game for. If they'd never seen it, or doesn't matter, irrelevant. It sounds like they've all watched it before. It sounds like it was a rewatch. Uh, if it's a rewatch, then yeah. No, it's fucked I, up. It's King fucked up. Heaven, King of Heaven director's cut. Boom, drop it. I mean, yeah, but that's like four hours long of epicness. It's probably yeah, that's my like favorite. a that's like a day. You had to devote a day to that thing. Or or the Lord of the Rings director. Yeah, director's, like, director's cut. cut. Yeah, 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 that's those, pretty good. Those are 
Yeah, I do that once a year. I watch all three of those. Yeah, on, I, yeah. I, I, pick a, I, I pick a Saturday. I, I started kind of getting Leo into it, so we'll see how we'll see if we can make. Oh, it you got Leo, you got Leo watching Lord of the Rings already? Just like clips here and there, you know, like the the, the you know I don't know the fun exciting one. So I'm trying to like get him to watch, sit down and watch it. But okay, okay, he, he, we get about 20, 30 minutes at a time. Listen, I'm just gonna. I, I just two weeks ago we had his roommate leave us a voicemail saying he didn't want to come to the game this week. He just straight up didn't come to the game. Not because yeah. he had a, not because he had an excuse because he didn't want to. I don't even think we need to go to Goonie Court. Are we do we just need to give this guy a fine? I think so. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, it that's doesn't sound idea. it doesn't sound I mean, it's, this is a repeating a, a repeating offense. Ty, it's your team. You're the you're the team rep for B1. Hang Garrett, the boys up to dry. Yeah. Yeah, Garrett, you're uh you're our Goonie Court judge. What do you guys think is a fair a fair punishment for you know, because you know, I feel like he got a he had his warning, so there's got to be something. And he got called out on the podcast for me. JB yeah, called and left yep. and left a voicemail. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you got to do something. I don't think it's a full case worthy. Mm, uh, I don't know. You see that little shit grin in the bottom right corner? I don't yeah, know. I know. Yeah, that's he seems like he's pretty happy about skipping hockey. Yeah. <laughs> I would just say at least around you know for like a handful of beers. So we'll say five beers. Also, I'll just say this. I'm going to call him out again. Uh, I'm wait. I'm getting ready to place the jersey order and i have one person who's holding up the jersey order and guess who it is it's mr jake it's mr jacob (laughs) no it's mr jacob lesnu and i know that jb has talked to him at least twice because i had jb talk to him and rafferty and rafferty paid me within like 10 minutes of me texting jb so lesnu out here holding everybody's jersey up so if you don't get your jersey till march it's because lesnu hasn't paid me i'm not ordering any jerseys until i get paid See that little shit they... again? I'm going to point out that shit again. Maybe this is a picture from the future after you listen to this podcast and listen to how much shit he stirred up here today. And that's what his reaction is. I don't know. Coincidence. Put on my tin hat. I don't know. Call it what you will. I don't know. I don't know if just buying me a beer is going to make me feel better. I think it's up to a case now. You know, that's my recommendation. So uh, we'll leave it to the. But you're the, but you're the Goonie judge. You have to hand out the. Yeah, I said five beers. I said five beers. Five you know, like, beers. You're community with beers. That. You can't drink any of the five. You know, you just buy five beers. You know, like, and here's the thing, you know, it's if he's a re- repeat offender again, then that's when it goes up. Okay. All right. All right. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. The judge has spoken. Five community beers from Jacob Lesnu. There it yep. is. It is decided. I don't uh, know. Yeah, it was the gavel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so that's what we got. Hopefully, I mean, it's probably not going to be any different this week, holidays. But it'll be. Yeah, I'm just like I said, we got nine guys checked in. I mean, I'm just, I, I just, Eric will be there. John will be there. Phil will be there. Vice is checked out. Time will probably be there. I just feel like every week I'm like, ah, hopefully it's better next week. And then next week we have ten guys on this fucking slide. It's like, oh yeah. my god, I just want to play. I just want to have four defensemen one week. That's, I mean, the last two weeks I've had to play a game with three fucking defensemen, and it is miserable. Please, please, fellas, please. It's almost as it's. I don't know what's worse, having to play three D or having your one of your forwards line be Garrett Tim and Poon Patty. Hey, hey, hey! Don't be hating. Don't be hating. I, I'm just, I'm just making, yeah. just making, make, making an observation here. Yeah. Just why don't you just make a better pass out front then? Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sauce it over one guy. Because if I did call for it, it was a shit pass. Well, right. No, team. it would. No, but no. Right. But I didn't know. It, I would have assumed if you called for it, the guy wouldn't have been there. That was my. That was my thinking. I did. I was looking in the corner. You said. I thought you said me or you, what? What? I, I don't remember I what said, I thought. Out, you said. out, out. Because guess who had it? Who I had on the ice. Me. Uh, dude, I was, dude, I was, yeah, I know, I was, I was, yeah, it was, it was a long, it was a long day, it was a long game, it was a long day. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. What do you, I mean, yeah. That, that Goonie Gall is starting to actually make sense. That, now. that play, that, if you had said that play, I would have, I would have been, I would have been more okay with it because I had actually yeah. completely uh, forgotten about that play. Enough. I'd actually completely forgotten about that play. Yeah. Um, all right. We got a little barn recap really quick. Oof. And we get the shit on a guy who's not even here. Uh, <laughs> Goonie Tunes, the black team, went 2-0 and on their doubleheader. Uh, an overtime win for the second time against the EH team in our second game. And a uh, nice little spanking of the Whiskey Deeks. Tim had no less than five wide-open chances in front of the net with no one around him, and he did not score a single one. <laughs> Garrett, one of the times – so you've, <laughs> Garrett, you've seen the nets, right? You know how it's oh, like yeah. little yeah. net, space, little net? One of yep. the times he got the puck right in the middle, like – 
two and feet. So he just banked it off the middle. No, two. No, he put it a foot and a half over the middle. <laughs> he shot it straight <laughs> through he was the trying middle. Trying to like, tip it, you know. <laughs> no, he sat there and and like like set up for like a second, and then just went boom. Oh, right. I mean, it. We. It was very funny because Joe's the one that gave I mean, him, like Joe. Was he? He. Eric brought him on board, right? That's how he ended up with Tim. With Tim, I think that's right. That I think yeah. that sounds right. I think All that right. sounds right. I'm just making sure. Okay, continue. Uh and it was very funny. It was like a like a looking at yourself in the in the mirror because Reader's the one that gave him the pass, and then he did it, and then Reader did exactly what I always do, and he goes, "What the fuck are you doing, Tim?" <laughs> <laughs> that was a recurring theme. Oh, so yeah, yeah. No, I got I got a nice little chuckle out of that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Ty. Tough loss for you guys. Uh, really Ian, tough loss. Ian. Yeah, yeah. you know, there's somebody on this uh, podcast <laughs> right now who I have a serious bone to pick for this loss. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Here's here's you the situation. It. I'm listening. I just so my Burkle, Burkle tweaked his back on Sunday, so he wasn't uh, able to come out. So we only had five guys. So in the locker room beforehand, as uh, the Gooner Team's black team is getting dressed, I said, hey, does anybody want to sub with us? We only have five guys. Everybody said no, including somebody who's on the podcast. Not going to name names. Wasn't me. Yeah, one of them has a, a wild sweatshirt on. The other one has a nice blue sweatshirt. And it wasn't uh, my Uh-oh. friend in the wild uh, jersey that I have a bone to pick with. So nobody says they'll sell with us except for one man, Tim. Well, it's very honorable of him. I will say that. Yeah, Tim did to sub with you. Tim instead of to sub with us. Yes, we did say that. We said he I asked all of you. Sub. I wouldn't have subbed if Tim didn't sub. That's oh. a good. That's a good point, Ian. If you guys would have had five, I think Ian was willing to let FMC play with just three. But because Tim jumped so, over and gave you guys six, Ian jumped on and and helped FMC out and gave them a four. I couldn't let the guys die. We're in the same locker room with them. That's ridiculous, you know. And I wanted to. Beat them, you guys. You're, so. yeah, 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 Ian subbing with the other team. I went, what the fuck? They had three <laughs> guys because one of their guys had to leave. So I get Ian that. Steps I in. get that. Well, time out, Gary. Now, here's why I have a bone to pick with it. At first, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Ian had three goals, Garrett. Now, I want you to count based on the screen here. Oh, I, I know. I can do the math. But, I mean, if you are if you got, what, five guys? You guys had five? Yeah. And you're losing six to eight to a team that's got four? No, they no, they, no, they had. Him. Yeah, I know you guys should have murdered them. We should have, yeah. Simple. But... My goal shouldn't have mattered. Good point, Ian. Yeah, it's questionable. It's Your questionable. logic is so flawed right now, Ian. I can't even handle you. I think I think Ty's just a little bit upset about the loss. He's lashing out, which is understandable. No, is not the, lashing out. Just pointing out the facts. Is the Goonie Tune Black the the loss for the Black team? Is that? The only loss is against the white team, right? That That's is correct. Right. That is correct. And we actually, and then we play FMC next week. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah. So yeah. That'll be that'll be a big one. Yep. Also, shout out Cody for coming out and subbing with us on short notice. We were we were scrambling looking for a six guy, and we texted Cody. Our game was at eight and eight forty five, and we texted Cody at like six. And oh, wow. he, Don't yeah, he, yeah, good for him. He's on the he's on the B one team. One of the guys on the B one team. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So, all right, Connor, let me ask you this: If the roles are reversed right there, you got Cody to sub with you. If you oh, guys are playing FMC, if I jumped on FMC, would you bro, have I a problem with that? Bro, I would have bitched ten times more than you're bitching right now. Are you out of your yeah, mind? No, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Kinda no, would, I have no. You, I have no problem boss, admitting that. Kind of would bitch. Like, yeah, yeah no, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. If you subbed and we beat you, oh my god, dude, you never hear the. Oh, end I never of hear it. the end of it. Right. Yeah. But I'm saying roll yeah. reversed. Yeah. Right. No. Yeah. But no. If you sub and then beat us, oh yeah, no, I, you it would have been. Kind of would find a way to skip this segment of the podcast. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. No. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, I conveniently let, let the slide off. Yeah, no, for no, sure. I'm just Pro- the only thing I want to point out. Slide. I don't know what we're gonna go right into uh, <laughs> you know Goody streak. The only thing I want to point out is that this is fucked up logic, even for Ian Crampton. No, Ian, you're fine. You're fine, dude. Do what you got to do. I respect it, Ian. 
I wouldn't. I would. I would. I wouldn't have done it because I never. I would never want to play three games. In I, a row. Yeah, I, I put this on you, Ty. You you should have another kicked reason, Tim I, over there and uh, stuck with Ian. Another reason I wanted the ice time. I'm trying to get healthy for the boys. That, so, thank, thank you, Ian. Thank we, you we, you, you we could have had ice time with us. Very, that was very very number 12, you, Ian. Well I asked you first, and you said no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, listen. He got. He was one of four instead of one of six. That's a lot more shifts. Yeah, yeah. If anything, it was probably better that he was on FMC. Yeah, so you get that's, that time. that's yeah. probably yeah. – Ty, Ty, for the betterment of the whole Goonie Tunes organization, I think yeah. you need to admit that having Ian sub for FMC and get that ice time was honestly better. You know, it doesn't matter till the playoffs anyways, so we're going to let this one go. All right. But just so you know, good. when uh, January 2nd rolls around and tune-on-tune tune violence at 8 o'clock kicks <laughs> off, I will remember this. And Ian, Is it I January 2nd? Is that the next boards. time you guys play? Yeah. I don't know. Have January they, have second, they, January wait, second. They've, oh, they, 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 they put out the, me? Yeah, Hell yeah, yeah. I'm going to put you right over that. <laughs> right, bar that. Make that <laughs> okay. Put him, into the, put him through like the nothing. dasher. Put him through the dasher. Holy shit. Uh, all righty. Last up we have, oh boy, is this one, this is about to get ugly. Yep. Sunday. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Sunday. <laughs> bloody Sunday. Yeah, right. I was, that oh. was my hope. That was my little streak of three was my only hope to catch Ty. I don't know if I, I this I even enough games left. First time. Oh, oh we didn't have, have enough games left. Yeah, oh, you mean, yeah. oh, yeah, oh, you mean, for, you mean for longest, oh, you mean for, yeah, you mean for longest streak, not just total. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, there's plenty of Goonie tunes. You can pick guys from, from either team. Yeah, I know. I know. I already know who I'm picking. <laughs> well, good. Uh, it's the first week we've gone 0 and 4. Uh, so shout out no. us for ma- having no, made no, it. No, game nine, 0 and 4. Oh, yeah. How did yeah. I miss that tonight? Mm-hmm. How did I miss? Am I an idiot? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no. No, no, yeah, no. I'm just. Should we no, review I'm those stats? Like, do you, are you sure you have that many goals? I am for sure about that. Stats, <laughs> I don't. Stats, I don't. Stats, I don't mess around with. Honestly, I am, I am much more generous with stats than I am with anything else because I like guys getting points. Yeah. So. If it's even like a, if if it even could remotely be considered an assist, I'll give I'll give a guy an assist on it. Um, so yeah, I guess the whole zero and four thing once that okay yeah I just completely missed that on my my first look through. Um, yeah, it was rough. Uh, Johnson and Wood brought out a couple of uh, I don't want to call them ringers, but we'll say new players, which we talked oh. about. I have no problem with because before that game they were one in five or something like that and they were getting crushed yeah. so oh, anything yeah. anything to make themselves more competitive i have no no issues with That's those good. guys play with them the rest of the year happy to see it happy to have a little yep. bit more, more more competition but that did throw a little bit of a wrench into my plans for sartor pitching a shutout i will say that uh tim uh maybe the worst curse of all <laughs> hit craig and then the first period. yeah craig got injured on like his second shift of the game yeah uh and then yeah garrett reader just couldn't couldn't get it couldn't get it done for you Dad, you know we, i was really hoping that that last little play where it just kind of what when you passed out front and it ended up on his i don't know if it ended up on his stick but it ended up like close enough where we had a couple whacks at it wild and goal. nobody's just gonna score it out my way because i was back door and that no luck but whatever Wild just scored against the wings. Suck it, wings. Two nothing. Yeah, I had to go to the wings. I went. I, I didn't have to go. I went to the wings game last night, and it was maybe the worst game of hockey I've ever attended live. Yeah, it the, was pretty bad. The Hurricanes scored in the first five minutes, and then that was the only scoring. I don't even know if the wings had like a high danger scoring chance the whole game. Ugh. Yeah, it was. Well, that last one at the end when I uh, uh, who, who was in oh, front? Oh yeah, there was one in front of the net or something like that. They, like, yeah, no, when Rasmussen, they, Rasmussen in front when of they the pulled, net. When they pulled, when they when they had the goalie pulled, they did have I think I think one like decent decent chance, but yeah, no, it wasn't. It was skipped right over game. his stick in front of the net. Yep. So I'm I'm excited that they're pounding the pound on the wings tonight. Do nothing. Let's go. Ryan Reeves laid the biggest hit I've ever seen in my life, and then just beat the shit out of somebody. So. All in, all in a day's work for the Minnesota Wild. Um, all right, I'll do – so Timmy texted me his pick. He is going with a guy who hopefully is – I mean, he was, he was there Monday, so hopefully he'll be here this Sunday. He is going with Dylan Conti, the newest addition. Solid pick. Newest addition to the Goonie Tunes org. Uh, yeah. Nah, Garrett. All right. Who you got? I'm going with Burkle. Cause we're playing Johnson and Wood, so I am avoiding B two like the plague. We're playing, we're playing Scott, Scott's Barber, same thing. Or, yeah, what did I say? Johnson, Johnson and Wood. Wood. 
whatever. Yeah, we we're just talking. So wait, who are you guys playing? We're playing it's misfits. misfits. So yeah, probably sure. probably like the two best teams in either league yep. are. I'll stick, I'll stick with Burkle. Burkle. Like yep. We've talked about him before, but Burkle might be my favorite person that's on either team for the Goonie Tunes. Besides me, of course. No, definitely. No. <laughs> Yeah, no. There's a lot of guys that are my my favorite. Actually, I think ev maybe everyone but one. But Tim, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah everyone but one. I almost said everyone, then I thought, nah, there's no one's nah, no nah. one's lower than Tim. No one's lower than Tim. Uh, all right, Brickle, nice pick. I like that. I like that. Um, let me see. What time is your guys' game? Nine forty-five. Right afterwards. Oh, cool, perfect. So I'll get to watch that one. Yeah. Are we in the same side, Ice Counter? Do you know? Yeah, yes, yeah, the only one that's not. Yeah, the only one that's not is the ten o'clock slot. That's the only one that's on the other. The other. Beautiful. Ice. Yeah, it's five forty-five to nine forty-five, and then there's the one ten o'clock game. Just get a nice little break in there. Yep. Uh, all right. I'm gonna do. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm riding a four-game point streak in B1, so I'm gonna take myself B1. I took myself the first game of the year in B2. And it's one of two games where I haven't scored a point. So this will probably backfire and blow up in my face. But I feel like I've been playing pretty well as of late. I need to get I need to get something going here because three losses in a row. It's starting to get old. Ty. There are five red names. Raper. Five red was... names in a row. I think Garrett, your long was hold on, I can pull this up because I have the whole Yeah. Was it six or five? One, two, three, four, five, six. It was five. seven, Garrett. It was oh. seven. Ooh. It was well. Good week... thing I got a I got a nice little three in there. That that kind of helps yeah, me out a little. Yeah, no, you went you went the first two. You were good, and then you went yep. seven. Ugh. You were you were just just no bueno, no bueno. The, the worst part was is, it, is you would like you would pick a guy who scored the week before, yeah. and then they would do nothing, and you did like three well, it was, weeks, it was like three like, weeks in a row. I was trying to knock out some guys that I'm like, all right, you know. Maybe you know it's that fifty-fifty shot. Yeah. Nah, didn't work out. No, it never, all. it never, <laughs> it never worked out. Uh, all right, Ty. Last up, who you got? You know, I'm really liking the B one streaks, so I'm gonna take myself and B one. Ooh, so. I like this. I like this, Ty. Bet on ourselves. I like, yeah, I figured I'd follow suit with you here, and I don't think I haven't picked myself yet. I want to go through everybody else and save the best for last, but. Just got to pull out the big guns before I turn into the Grim Reaper. Love it. Imagine Grim Reapering yourself. That would be. Oh, it. Jesus. If I Grim <laughs> Reaper myself, all bets are off. I don't even know. <laughs> Hold on. Is Ian, is Ian shooting right now? Is he swinging? It looks like he just wrapped up. It doesn't look too happy about it. Ian, Ian, do you got a Goonie, <laughs> Ian, Ian, you got a Goonie streak pick? Uh, I think it was new. Let, oh, 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 oh. Wow, got, movie boy! He's got to he's got to show up to the game to get movie a point. You can't you can't, you can't score a point. You can't score a point from the pike from the pike couch. Oh. I tell you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! All right, all right, all right. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Right, Sounds like it. it's I'm a gonna, rough look for Ian I'm right gonna, now. The mute, simulator. We're good. <laughs> all right. That's all we got as far as the normal nonsense goes. Uh, what else did I have on the rundown? Oh, I'm going to, yeah, a little quick little voicemail reminder. We haven't gotten a voicemail in a couple of weeks. Leave us a voicemail. We really <laughs> like it. It's They're fun to talk about. It doesn't take you very long. I, we know you guys have questions for us. And if you don't have questions, you definitely have chirps. So, JB, let us, let us know what movie you guys were watching. Yes, JB, let us know. That would be awesome. And then we can talk about it and we can rip, rip, rip Lesnu again. Uh, oh, quick. So quick, couple more things. Scheduling announcement. So we will have, obviously, our episode, regularly scheduled episode next week, which I think is going to be dropping the 20th, I think that is. 21st, maybe? Twenty Saturday is Christmas Eve, so 23rd, 22nd. 22nd, Okay. And yep. then the following week, the week between Christmas and New Year's, we're going to be, we won't have a regular episode. We're going to be dropping a best of from this season. That way, if you have to work in between the holidays, you've got something to listen to on Thursday. You're welcome. And then the following week, the week after New Year's, we will have a regular episode, even though we're not going to have a game to cover. We'll have a barn game or two to recap. And we'll be Do doing... Do not violence. Yeah, we'll be going over... 
the kind of hot the hot takes and the over unders and all that stuff, the bull predictions and do doing some pre award prediction. I didn't say yeah, yeah, and then we'll do yeah. the mid mid season mid season award kind of front runners discussion, all that kind of stuff. So it'll it'll yeah. be a it'll be a regular length show. We'll just be talking kind of looking at the, the what's happened so far and then looking forward because it'll be about a little I think we're a little over halfway through the year. We will have yeah, this, no, this, I think we, I think last game was a halfway point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be at, timed out timed out perfectly um all right guys i have gotten a number of texts and messages telling a couple members of this podcast to pull out their tampon and just do the fucking slap shot regatta huh Mm, can't think of who though yeah don't know who they're talking about so i'm just saying are we are we doing are we doing this slap shot regatta or not you're not going to do it? No, I'm not going to do it. Oh, my God, Garrett. Why not? Oh, I mean, my God. I mean, to be fair, I don't even think we're going to get to 100 subscribers in the next, like, yeah. three, three, three or we four have, weeks. So we're at, right, eight, we're at yeah. 80, 89 right now. We need 11 This is the thing. Some assholes. We have enough friends and, like, assholes at the bar that would go out and create 10 accounts. Just Oh, yeah. Me. No, Mike Mike the Ref has, like, three different accounts that he's subscribed <laughs> to the channel with. So <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Foley I think Foley said if we if we got – if we he would – which I mean, listen. If we're we got to put our money where our mouth is, we need to get to 100 subscribers. That's a big deal, and we got to give the fans something worth subscribing for. We gotta. It's got to be an incentive. It's got to be worth. We'll do it. the slap I'll just hold the camera. <laughs> All right. I'll just say this: I'm willing to do the slap shot regatta, and I know Doesn't Ty. Matter. I know Ty is willing to do the slap shot regatta. There you go. And I think, I'm and sure I think, Tim is. I think we could bully Tim into doing it. So. You could probably bullet him. Just tell him I'm doing it, and I'll just won't do it, and yeah, he'll be fine. All right, so, I like that. There's a certain subscriber in the Burstaw household that is really looking forward to the slap shop for God for <laughs> one specific podcast host. I won't name who, but he's yes. not here right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so it is confirmed officially. If we hit 100 subscribers before we drop our 50th episode, we will be doing a slap shot regatta where you get to fire three tennis balls at a coho at a host of Toon Talk. If you are a subscriber, we'll figure out the logistics at a later date if we need to, and hopefully we, by then Garrett will grow a pair. We'll see and, have, and yeah. have and have a little fun with the boys. Uh, my days are getting shot at are over with boys. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. where's, where's where's Tim? Where's Tim when you need him with the fucking flag? God damn it! That's tough. I, I will say it's tough to argue with that. It's tough. Yeah. <laughs> that's that feels that. Feels, which, by the way, congratulations, Gary Garrett Army, big win over Navy overtime. Uh, first overtime ever. Yep. Uh, your parlay did not hit. Hey, and you know what? My parlays are spicy because that way, if they hit. That, if if they hit it, that means Army wins. Right. But if they don't hit and Army wins, it's still a win in my book. So I yeah, came out of that's it. that. Yeah, there you, I, I, I although you you mentioned that and then I brought up the question of what happened last year where that it's just part, tears, right? Drunken right, tears. Right. Yeah. right. All right. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Ian's Ian's coming back. He said he the, the, he he said the the hot the hot spot went out. There's no Wi-Fi there. Ant spit. Yeah. So, uh, slap shot. We got it confirmed. Uh. I got one more thing before we I we I give you guys the weekly hypothetical. Did you guys see that Yammer Yager played a game this week? In yeah, the yeah. Or, or, so his uh 50. his Hall of Fame like Bodie or yeah. uh, uh has been pushed off like another yeah. five years. Yeah, stuff, like, yeah, he can't go to the Hall of Fame until 20, yeah. 20, 2026 now or whatever. Yeah. yeah, fifty years old. I guess he's like a co-owner of the team, or hey, maybe just like okay. the actual owner. Yager or Brady? <laughs> what do you mean? Who's who's the better person in their sport for their age? Like Brady's what, 45, 46? 40. I mean that he 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 look he definitely should not have come back. He looked he Oh looked no, bad no, definitely year. definitely agree, but point I'm I, getting at I don't is, I don't know how well Yager played. So the way I the article still, that I read was like I mean, he, they so he, Gordy Howe was playing like at the Vipers when in the nineties. Right. So yeah. Brady's I mean, forty five. But, that, but that's not the NHL. Oh. Like Brady's playing in the NFL and Yager is playing in the Czech Republic League. I mean, it might not be the, the top yeah. Czech Republic league. All I know is the article I read was he's like an owner of the team and they had like 
a bug, like a sick bug that like went through the team. And so they just like, oh, so have, like they didn't have the body. I'll do it myself. Yeah. So he just like <laughs> suited, he like suited, literally just Thanos suited up. Cup. <laughs> yeah, they just needed need, needed the body. So I don't know. Yeah. Like I didn't see his like time on ice or anything like that. I have no idea how much he played, but I mean the fact that he could still suit up and even like remotely compete yeah. at uh at the age of fifty is is insanity. You know, right. going back to Garrett's question, I think I gotta go Tom Brady on this one. At least yeah, he's still I playing too. the NFL. Yeah, because Tom I mean, Brady yeah, won a Super Bowl when he was like what 43, 40, yeah, 40, 42 43. years ago. So yeah, 43. Yeah. When did when did Yager stop playing in the NHL? How many years ago was oh, that? That's a good question. Probably at probably 2019 ish. No. Was that no way was it 2019? I'm pulling it up. 2017. 2017? Yeah. 2017? I, was, I, was, oh. I was gonna say 2017. So five years Yager. ago. So that's still, I mean, he was still 45. 45. Yeah, yeah, he was still 45. And I will say Yager was oh, pretty Yager was pretty good all the way to the end. Like yeah. he was still yeah. he was still producing. Yeah. Difference maker on the ice. Yep. Yeah, I think I would have to go Yager. As far as like when he was 45 versus when I I mean like Brady this year is just Horrible. sad. It's sad. Hang him up, Tom. Hang him up. I mean, he did so just kind of ruin his marriage, his family life, and he got, he has to come back for one more at least. Uh, <laughs> I mean, no it dude, no one year, way yeah. does he come back. No, he won't come back with the Bucks. The Bucks, I, I will say, no, God, it's no, not all God, Tom Brady's no. fault because the Bucks are bad. The I mean, the Bucks are legitimately bad. He is, his offensive line is uh, is a sieve, just Swiss cheese, no time. It's yeah. it's not it's not a good not a good. Uh, you can't let an old man get hit like that. No. Nope. No, nope. oh, trust me, I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, if I yeah. had a guess, he'd probably. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold on, we got we got Brady, Yager, we got Bice, all in their forties. <laughs> all in their forties. All their. I will say, I was looking at, I was looking at a uh, a hot take, just kind of getting prepped for a couple of weeks. One of them is Lou will have more points than Bice, and right now Bice <laughs> is one ahead. Oh, Jesus. oh no! <laughs> so I'm just saying, you never know. Uh, all right, weekly weekly hypothetical, and then we'll wrap. So this is a little little more fun one, not as not not uh not quite as colorful as the ones we've had a couple of weeks ago. I know Garrett was a little upset about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just disappointed. I'm gone for two weeks, and you guys, you know, uh-huh, the uh-huh. potty mouths come out. And okay, yeah. okay, Dad, okay, Dad. I get angry. I get angry texts from your mother. No, what you are you didn't. letting Connor do? It? No, you didn't. That's a lie. That's a lie. Mom. Yeah, she, she doesn't listen. She, she doesn't listen. All right, would you guys rather have a personal chef? Personal driver or personal masseuse for the rest of your life? Does the chef do all the shopping? For food exclusively, yes. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, chef hands down, period. So the nice thing Say about the driver way. is yeah, driver, done, done, you done. Like always, driver, you always have a DD. I got what? Four, uh, three, uh, 13 more years and I got a DD. I'm good. I don't know. Those thirteen years, you could have. By the time those, by the time those thirteen oh, years yeah. are done, you might not. If, even I, had, if I had a chef, man, just <laughs> don't have to worry about picking up food, cooking food. Life would be so much better, especially it, when you got like not throwing it out there, but when you got two kids and you're in law school. Oh, and, right. Yeah, I'm time not is, throwing. I'm not throwing. I'm not essence. not throwing time it out. Of the essence. Not throwing it out there as he throws it out there, <laughs> motherfucker. Hey, drop that meme right here, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think having a DD at all times, like sometimes you just like don't want to like you could like. Why sleep for when you the... drink two labats with the boys and leave at ten o'clock? Oh. Wait, what? What did I do that? Every week. <laughs> oh. What do you? Do? I Ian, leave at midnight Ian most part, weeks. Uh, participate in this conversation right now. I feel like I'm getting unfair slander right now. What are you talking about? Mm. It's not slander when it's true. <laughs> You wouldn't know. You leave before anybody else does, old man. Oh, Get out of here. Because I had an exam the next day. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Funny how that works. So you leave before me every week. Every week, Garrett leaves before me. I also me. have to drive an hour home, not 10 minutes. <laughs> True. It's 15 sometimes, depending on how yeah. traffic is. Yeah, catch both lights. Yeah, yeah I catch a couple lights. Say, so reader leaves when you do because you're the adult of the group and leave before you have, you have too many yeah exactly yeah some of us have to get up early for work i didn't in the realize morning. three is too many gary is that news to you too uh well he's he's always been a lightweight so. i am what one that is true i am a lightweight yeah yeah and two i had a couple instances last year where i should have waited a little longer to drive home we'll just say that 
<laughs> so I'm trying, I'm trying to not, I'm trying to not make that mistake again. Fair enough. That's I'm trying fair. to be, I'm trying to be a little bit more responsible. Like I said, I am the adult of the group. So someone has fair to enough. be, someone has to be a bunch of children running around. What are my pants getting in? I want my pants. I don't yeah, know. I dude. Want mine too. You, want to, you want me to check? I'm going to check right now. Yeah, I'll let's check, see. I'll that. check the DHL. Last time I checked, they were in like Saudi Arabia or some shit. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> well, I know they're so they're not. Yeah, no, they're not. The pants aren't coming from uh from where they where, where the jerseys come from. All right, here we go. ODR shipping. Let me copy and paste this DHL. Uh track via DHL. Oh, Ian. Oh, is that a good shot or a bad let's shot? I can't see. tell the screen. Oh. Uh oh no, I lied. Right. Sorry. It's in C Sealcott, Pakistan. And that oh. is that has been there uh for let me see, I got this email on November twenty eighth, so like two weeks. Interesting. Uh so yeah, I don't really know exactly what is happening with the pants, unfortunately. Very so, interesting. So when I know what happened is I had I, a, a decent I, drive. At a boy. Oh, not what's, good, but decent. What, 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 what's <laughs> what's decent? How far how far is decent? Two hundred yards? Two eighty? Oh yeah. fuck off, two eighty. Were you hitting? Were you going seventy feet downhill? Hey, my guy Tate here just outdrove me. That's a, a sim- three wood, it's a, like it's diverse a, over here. Six it's a, five, he hits it three wood, like three hundred and forty <laughs> yards. It's a sim. It's it's, it's a simly. You guys have got yeah. the humidity way down, so the ball goes farther. I know how that goes. Yeah. Um, Connor is just sipping the hate radiant. Good shot. Ah, yeah, good ball. Whatever. 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 Connor, Connor on the hate raid. What? What? Never heard of that before. Nope. Uh, all right, guys. Anything else? Nope. Nah, nothing here. All right. Beautiful. Thank you, Ian, for joining us. You guys just want to listen to static noise for a little while? No, not particularly. You can keep oh, it running. I love it. Yeah, leave, but yeah, yeah no, running. I'll be out. I'll be out. It. Yeah, you can, um, no, yeah, you can that, keep that hot spot going. <laughs> Ty, what's your driver? What kind of, what, what's your driver? Oh, here we go. Uh, geek Golf, uh, something, something. <laughs> My dad got it for me uh, for Christmas a few years ago. It's a 47-inch oh, okay. shaft, though, so it's like an inch longer than what the standard. Well, right. I know it's extended. Is, yeah. I was trying to think of what it was. It's it's still legal, though. Callaway, right? It's not legal. Yeah, it is. It's 100% legal. Look oh, it up on your not. phone. It's not legal. USGA shaft length is 47 inches. Listen to these right, fucking, listen, listen to these fucking guys, Gary. It's like they don't realize it's hockey season. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? I'm doing both at the same time. Trying to get my knee in shape again. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will say it is good yeah. to have Ian. It is good to have Ian back on the ice. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. I, smile, I smile every time. I'm like, yeah. It was, BBC he was, is back together. He was, yeah, the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, boys. Good show. Thanks, everybody, for listening, for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We're looking to take slap shots at each other. So if you want to see that happen, we need to get to 100 subscribers. Simple as that. You have like three or four weeks. Um, We will talk to... Everybody, next week, go Goonie Tunes. I love you. Thank you for tuning in to Tunes. Please remember to share, like, and subscribe to Goody Tunes Hockey. And tune in next week for more Goody Tunes content and hockey news.